This is how you can easily separate all of your audio sources in OBS Studio so that you can mute and change the volume of each one independently so that it makes it a lot easier whether you're streaming or recording to manage your audio sources. As you can see, my audio mixer looks like this. I have my audio um, divided into Chrome slash music because I usually use Spotify through the Chrome browser on um, my Discord audio so I can control how loud my friends on Discord are. Um, the game audio is separate and then of course my microphone is also separate. So to do this, you're gonna need a plugin for OBS which is super easy to install. Um, I'll link to this in the description so you guys can go download this. Um, it's really good and easy to use. So this is basically all you need. You wanna come down here to this Win Capture Audio beta setup.exe. Um, you can also download the zip if you wanna drag it right into the folder, but I recommend just getting the exe file and just running that and it'll guide you through a typical installer like you would install anything else um, so once you get that i'll show you how to go ahead and set it up so once you have installed that plugin you just want to create a nested scene this is basically going to be a scene that you're just going to have each audio source in um, and this is going to allow you to then put that scene which is called a nested scene in all of your other scenes and it'll just make an easy way to add all of your audio sources into each scene. So uh, let me go ahead and just show you how to do that. So basically you just wanna click this plus on the bottom left under scenes. Um, we're just gonna name this nested audio scene. I already have one, but we're just gonna make another one. Um, so we're gonna click okay. And then under sources, you're gonna wanna click the plus. And then you should have, once you've installed that plugin, um, a source called application audio output capture. So once you click this, um, you're just gonna wanna name it um, whatever your audio source that you're gonna capture is. So um, let's say I wanna make another one for Chrome. So let's just name this one Chrome uh, Browser. So this is meaning whenever I create this source for the audio, it's going to be the audio source for my Chrome browser in this case. And we're gonna go through and do uh, the same process for each of our audio sources. So you just wanna click okay on create new. And then the only thing you need to worry about on this page most of the time is just the window. You wanna click that and then we're gonna click um, wherever you want to get that audio from. So in this case, it's gonna be Chrome. My Chrome, I don't have any like audio playing, but it would be the chrome.exe. Um, that means that it will capture any audio that's coming from my Chrome uh, program or window that's open. Um, so once you click that, you can just click OK. And now, as you can see in our sources on the bottom right, um, we now have Chrome browser. So uh, and that is in our nested audio scene. So if you want to add another one, just click plus application audio output. Um, let's just do discord um, audio. I'll just do one just to separate it from my uh, original. Um, but then we're going to click OK. Again, click window and then find your discord.exe. Boom, click that. OK. Um, and as you can see right here in the scene under our audio mixer, you do have your adjustments for each different um, audio source that you have added now. Now, to add these to your actual scenes that you're going to be streaming from, because right now it's just a black screen. Um, so let's go ahead and see if we click uh go to i don't know just our brb screen uh i already have an our my main audio sources on this one as you can see here but basically all you want to do to add that audio to your actual scene is click the plus and then you want to go to scene and just add a scene as a source and then of course you want to use the nested audio scene that we just created that contains all of your audio sources um that are separate so then you click okay and then it will add them. And it looks a little confusing here because we have both of my nested audio sources, but um, it will add them right there just like um, it has them there. So you can adjust them independently, but that's basically it for how you do that. If you have any questions about how this works or have any issues, just comment below and I'll do my best to reply and help you out. But anyways, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.